Road hauliers have reacted angrily to a warning from the government that there could be queues of 7,000 lorries in Kent if companies fail to prepare for customs changes at the end of the Brexit transition period. They've accused ministers of trying to shift blame for the possible impact of no trade deal being agreed with the EU. The government says it isn't pointing the finger of blame, but is keen to encourage businesses to focus on trade preparations. Here's our economics editor, Faisal Islam. Decades of seamless cross-channel trade without checks will come to an end when Great Britain exits the single market and customs union in 100 days' time. And the warning from government is that everyone should plan on the basis that thousands of lorries could be stranded in Kent. It is the worst nightmare for traders, particularly in perishable goods such as David Catch from Kent. 24 hours in the life of, 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 of the produce is a long time and we put an order in this morning for Holland that will be here at 2 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now if that order doesn't arrive at 2 o'clock tomorrow morning, I've got no produce to load onto my vehicles. The produce has to be here on time, otherwise the whole of my business just collapses. He was responding after BBC News obtained a letter from the Cabinet Office Minister Michael Gove to the freight industry acknowledging that the end of the Brexit transition period could see queues of 7,000 port-bound trucks in Kent and associated maximum delays of up to two days as France applies border checks to all hauliers without new required trade paperwork. Today is a wake-up call. Um, and it's also a call to arms. Uh, we're pointing out uh, to business and to others that if we prepare, then we can completely avoid this scenario. This is what the government refers to as a reasonable worst case scenario. And it sounds familiar because it's rather similar to some of what was in the no deal Brexit documentation last year. But this is the first time the government has referred to mass disruption as a possible consequence of its oven ready deal on the 1st of January 2021. The government's aim with this is to get traders prepared. The hauliers though fear that they are getting the blame for any disruption. We wrote to Gove in March of this year at you know, the height of Covid to say look we need a, a longer transition period. We, we need you to buy more time because we simply won't have enough time to prepare at the back end of this year you know, for what's, what's coming up, you know, on the 1st of January. They haven't listened. You know, so, so, so the onus has to sit with government, really, the lack of understanding, the lack of, 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 of appreciation of what this means for our industry. Mr Gove says he's not pointing the finger here, but can the government really cope with this type of disruption in the middle of a pandemic that's already flawed the economy once? No consideration that even at the last minute, this cliff edge that could create a, a queues of 7,000 trucks could be pushed back further into the next year? No, the date of the end of the transition period has been fixed in law. It's been accepted across the House of Commons. Uh, the Labour front bench uh, agree that it is the right thing to do to get ready for this date. Lorries will need an access permit even to get into Kent where they're building new truck stops and traffic systems, but there's still a shortage of tens of thousands of customs agents. This will be a significant change to the way we trade at an already delicate time for the economy. Faisal Islam, BBC News.